When working on static sensitive boards, be sure to follow all requirements of your organization's EOS ESD control program before proceeding. The first step is to examine the board and components to be removed for any signs of conformal coatings, heavy oxides, or contamination which can greatly interfere with heat transfer into the solder joints during removal. Using a PACE microsheen system or other appropriate means, remove conformal coatings before attempting to remove any component. See other PACE videos for more detail on removal of conformal coatings. A cleaner approved by your organization may be used to remove heavy contamination and oxides. An approved flux may also be used to break down surface oxides and aid heat transfer. It is also important that the board is free of excess moisture before attempting component removal. If necessary, gently dry the board by using a Pace Mini Thermojet handpiece at a low temperature or by other appropriate means. Clean, properly tinned tips are essential for maximum transfer of heat to the solder joints during reflow and removal of a surface mount component. After the tips have reached a proper operating temperature, clean them with a fiber tool to remove old solder. Then use the sponge tool to remove any remaining oxides. Finally, tin the inside surfaces with an approved flux core solder. If the tips don't wet with solder, repeat the cleaning process and tin again. If tips still don't accept solder, the problem may be with the particular type of flux in the solder you're using. Try a special tip reconditioning process if approved by your organization. Once the tips are properly tinned, adjust the tip gap thumb screw so the tips are just wide enough to fit easily over the component. For safe, rapid removal, it is essential that the tips make good contact with all the leads at once to ensure uniform solder joint reflow. To further improve heat transfer or thermal linkage with all the leads, there are three distinct methods. These include applying flux, using a solder bridge fill, or using a solder preform. In most cases, applying an approved liquid flux or paste flux is sufficient. In cases where the tip is not making sufficient thermal linkage with all the leads at once, the solder bridge fill method is the safest, most effective means of improving heat transfer and can greatly speed up the removal process. Solder bridge fill is the preferred method with large extended lead devices, such as this 208 lead PQFP. Using a heated soldering or desoldering tip and large gauge flux core solder approved by your organization, apply solder across all the joints like this until every component lead is bridged together with solder. Then proceed with removal. Solder bridging assures rapid, even heating of all the joints at once, virtually eliminating the risk of damage. The third method of improving thermal linkage is to use a solder preform. With large gauge flux core solder, form a loop tightly around the component to be removed. Then trim off excess. Applying additional external flux will further aid heat transfer. Before proceeding with removal, it may be necessary to open the tip gap adjustment so that the tips pass over the solder preform before grasping the component. It is also possible to use solder paste to improve heat transfer during component removal. 
However, use extreme caution because solder balls may be produced, which could cause short circuits if not thoroughly cleaned off the board. Next, in part five, we'll learn basic technique for removing components with the thermo-tweeze handpiece.